Hello everyone, welcome back to Abandoned Mines of Pennsylvania. Today we're going to be covering acid mine drainage as an introduction, um, what causes it, and how it's treated. So one thing to keep in mind is no two outflows are the same, and the treatment systems to attack them will usually be different. And so acid mine drainage, as we've talked in the videos on what is coal and iron pyrites in Pennsylvania, what happens is this water comes down through the ground. It can combine with sulfides, sulfates, and become acidic. This water will then dissolve the irons, aluminums, molybdenums, uraniums, coppers, any metals that are contained within the rocks, and then deposit them outside the mines in our creeks and streams and waterways. So why this is harmful is in certain cases, this water becomes extremely acidic. And so it does not support life in the creeks or streams. And then the other thing is, all the heavy metals in there um, also make it very difficult to support life. But this is not unique to coal mines. Um, you can have this with any other type of mining. Um, and then also whether it's surface mine or uh, deep mine. This, uh, this is not a mine entrance here. Uh, this is just a little culvert pipe where this water comes down and enters into its treatment system. And so one way that we can neutralize the acids in the water is with limestone. Now it can be as simple as pouring limestone gravel into the creek, letting it do its thing, but you have to replace the limestone as it gets dissolved by the acid. And this will react and neutralize, help neutralize the water. Uh, another thing you want to do to help drop the heavy metals out is aerate it. And so um, these particular weirs here, I'm sure, are just to help divert water. But in other systems, um, you may see small elevation drops um, to help aerate the water to drop the metals out. In this particular system, some water is taken from this area here and is diverted down into these three boxes. Now, like I said, each system's different, but in this particular case, I'm not, uh, not sure of the specifics. Um, I do see they have limestone stockpiled there. So if we take a certain amount of the limestone put it in these boxes and then take, let's say 30% of the water flow. And we divert it through these boxes, help neutralize it, and then reintroduce it to the stream. So as you can see, our water comes out of our creek, comes into these systems, slowly passes through them, and exits on the far side. There's also, um, basins where they'll use combination where you may have limestone and then this will gravity feed down through um, like a mushroom bedding to help filter things out so if we've neutralized this some down towards the bottom of the mountain um, there used to be another system that would take another percentage of the stream flow and reroute it through another limestone bed. Another problem we can have with acid mine drainage, besides the harmful effects that it has, is physical effects. And so it wouldn't just be as simple to go around and plug up all the mine entrances, make them watertight, ta-da, problem solved. Because this water has to go somewhere. And in certain cases, the water will back up into the mines, especially areas where, like the anthracite fields, where your water backs all the way up into the mountains, will create enough hydrostatic pressure to then blow out wherever it wants to. 
And so you have boreholes that have been drilled, different tunnels that have been left open on purpose to help control where that water is coming out. Um, there's been nationwide, um, I believe it was in Colorado, where they accidentally broke into an old mine. And all the water that had been sitting in there for years came out uncontrolled and killed off a river. And so even though we would like to eliminate this altogether, sometimes it is easier to let it flow out and then treat it as it comes out. So we're going to be making it to other spots as always. Um, it's been a little difficult with coronavirus getting places and as you can see we still have about a foot of snow up here and we've got another foot foot and a half coming tonight so we'll get down in the anthracite fields we'll get out to the rest of the bituminous fields show you some uh some of the areas where the creeks are absolutely just i mean fluorescent orange and what that is is a lot of the iron that's in the water um falling out and then depositing on the rocks so if anyone has any other questions as always please feel free to leave them in the comments um, I'll be working on some other videos here as well um, and either said leave the questions in the comments or send us a message Band of Minds of Pennsylvania on Facebook or on YouTube we'll go ahead and get them answered I appreciate everyone's support. I hope everyone's doing well. Looking forward to getting out to shows this year. 2021 is going to be a good year. So, again, thank you everyone. Have a good day.